Okay, first and foremost, I'm going to say I'm sorry. I'm really bad at explaining things. But I'm going to show you how to get the seamless co-op mod to work with the randomizer mod so you can play a randomized game with your friends. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, Steam, Elden Ring, Manage, Browse Local Files. It's going to pop up the directory. We're going to go to Game. I'm going to have these four download links in the description below. We're going to open up Mod Order first. We're going to copy and paste all three of these into the game folder. I'm not going to do that because I already have it set up. So that's, that's just what you're going to do. And then you can get rid of the Mod Order zip file. It's done. You're done with that. We're going to open up the Seamless Co-op. We're going to copy and paste that into the same directory of the game folder. Then you're going to open up the... Seamless Co-op settings within the Seamless Co-op folder, and you're going to change the Co-op password to whatever you are going to use with your friends. Once you're done with that, you are done with this for now. Now, before you put anything else in the folder, you're going to have to load up the Seamless Co-op mod. So you're going to click on Launch Elden Ring Seamless Co-op. It's going to put some files in here that it needs to run. After that, you remove the Seamless Co-op folder from your game folder, and then you're going to copy and paste the Elden Ring Seamless Co-op DLL and the co-op settings into the mods folder. Not the mod engine folder, the mods folder. Okay, still with me? Then what you're going to do is you're going to open up the mod engine preview 3. You're going to copy, you're going to just drag it over, put it in there like everything else. Then after that, what you're going to do is you're going to go into here, you can get rid of the mod engine. You're going to open up the Elden Ring randomizer. You're going to drag the randomizer into the mod engine folder. After that, you can go to the uh, folder, Elden Ring randomizer. Now, some people are saying don't mess with this. You have to if you're using version 0.5.7. You click reroll enemy seed separately for, the, for when you randomize it. So you're going to click this. Don't touch anything else in here back out. Make sure that Ordering.exe is the selected exe, so you just click that. It'll load it in there itself. Then you click Randomize Items and Enemies. When it's done, it'll show green down here. You can exit out of that. And go back to the Mod Engine folder. Go to Config Elden Ring. And right here it'll say Enable True Name Default Path. It'll say Mod. You're going to change that to Randomizer. Okay, click out of that, save that, and then one more thing. From the randomizer folder, you're going to copy the regulation bin folder right here, the regulation, and you're going to put it in the mod engine 2 folder. You're just going to go into there, you're going to drop it in, and you're good to go. Then what you're going to do is you're going to run the launch mod Elden Ring, the Windows batch file right here. You're going to launch this. And everything should work correctly. If you have any questions, let me know. If something doesn't work, tell me what you did. Hopefully this helps some people play the game right now. So to know if it worked, what we're going to do is says, Welcome to Seamless Co-op. This mod uses separate safe hall, whatever. We're going to click New Game. You're going to click... Just click that, and your origin classes should all be randomized, and that's how you know that it worked. And there's one, there's one last step. And this is going to be a, like a little bit on the end here. If you want to play this with your friend, what you're going to have to do is we're going to go to the randomizer. They download everything. You're going to go back to the randomizer. You're going to click options. You're going to click set from options from string. You're going to copy this and give it to your friend. And on seed, the first seed, not seed two, they have to leave seed two alone. Because that is the boss randomizer. If they mess with that, it's going to be desynced and they're going to mess it up. Do not touch seed two. Seed one, you can just change a random number in it and it'll randomize their items, so you both will get randomized items and it won't be the same thing. So, thank y'all for watching. If this helped, then leave a like. 
like I said, if you have any questions, let me know down below. I hope I explained this good well enough. I, I hope I did. <laughs> I, might have, I, don't, I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, thank you for watching.